did she survive it? No, no, she, she, they, they had a uh, blood on her. Okay. I'm so sorry, you've been all those nine years ago. Uh, Dr. Fennick? Yes. Um, uh, thank you both very much for that. That uh, uh, would be very helpful to come. Um, I, I was just wondering that, that certainly the dreams of falling and so on could be related to the aneurysm. So we could link it into the aneurysm because it seems to be um, uh, all around the time that the aneurysm was becoming common and it was causing the headache. So we could link it in there. Uh, but she did actually uh, um, think that she was going to be dying and she did phase over and like, did pass over and lost three weeks of that. Paul, thank you so much for that. This is another one that I hope people will email in at coasttocostam.com. Even if you've got the story on the air, to make sure that Dr. Fennick has it for his research. Scott is in Dallas on Coast to Coast. Scott? Hi, thanks. I know you're running up against the clock, but I want to tell you quickly, I got two and a half. When I was in high school, I was in, a, in my bedroom going to sleep and kind of in between sleep and, and awake, and I had a kind of a vision of a gun or a bright light in my eyes, and my head even felt like a jerk, and for some reason I was compelled to tell my mother, hey, think somebody just shot me. And I'm not one of these psychic type folks. This didn't happen. Anyway, I mentioned that within a week, a cousin who lived in the same city and she was disabled and had a music, music studio with sound had shot and done in the studio. Um, but I'll go quickly. Uh, the one I was talking about was my father. Uh, my grandmother died, my maternal grandmother died, and we all went to the funeral home. And, you know, in the viewing, uh, within a week of that, my father had a nightmare and uh, awoke, and I was playing the 